But a lot of men stay late from home. They get into the clubs because they are being celebrated by other men. In fact, if your husband has been over drinking, the odds are very high. There's somebody who celebrates him in the club. You may not need some prayers of deliverance for your husband. You may need deliverance yourself. <laughs> Sounds harsh. But even Solomon of ancient time, King Solomon advised every husband, if you have a quarrelsome woman, you would rather make a tiny place on the top of your house and sleep right there with the birds rather than stay with a woman who tears you emotionally. But sometimes I have wondered. Let me just go back to these notes. I've asked myself a question. This is a huge debate. If she doesn't feel loved, she doesn't respect him. If he doesn't feel respected, he doesn't love her. So is this a cycle? And who's going to break the cycle? If you have followed me at any length of time, you know I don't believe this is a cycle. I honestly believe no woman should ever sit down to plan how to submit. Submission for a woman is a response to the love of the man. So submission doesn't start, the love starts. The person who talked about this better than I could do in a thousand years is Paul the Apostle. Most of you know this scripture offered from Ephesians 5 through 21 to 28. The Apostle Paul gives a very strong argument. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. And I like checking the Hebrew Bible. And the word there is Ecclesia, the bride of Christ. By the way, that text was not written for marriage, as most of us believe. Paul is clear. He was talking about the love of Christ and his bride, Ecclesia. So how did Christ love his wife? The more she persecuted him, the more he loved her. So much that he died for her. The more the wife of Christ continued to sin, who is the wife of Christ? The church. The more Christ continued to love his wife. Then Paul says, if you can love like that, then your wife will naturally submit. The church today is able to submit to Christ because Christ loved the church and gave himself his all to the church. That's the reason you're calling yourself Christian tonight. So I suggest this to every man hearing my voice. If you love your wife as Christ loved the church, she doesn't need any seminar to be taught on submission. Submission is a natural response to your love. So submission does not start. Love starts. How do I know this? The scripture teaches us we did not choose Christ. He chose us. In fact, the Bible dares to say, He chose us before the foundation of this world. So the love begins. The respect follows. So every man hearing my voice, if you're not getting the respect from your wife, then you're not setting the love. You should not be sitting down to lecture her how to submit. You should be analyzing how to love like Christ loved. And she will naturally submit. Submit.